Well, I've uh, driven, I think, three hours to get here. You're located uh, just outside of London, Ontario? That's correct. We are located in uh, Cortland, a little airstrip. Um, that it's close to Tilsonburg Airport. Okay. And this is actually the Cortland Flying Club, is it not? That's correct, yes. Okay. What kind of facilities do they have here? So here we have a hangar that we can see two G1s and we have also a shop in Tilsonburg okay. where we build the aircraft. Now, G1, that's an airplane that's been on the market now for a number of years because I've covered it over an aero. Yes, so the G1 does exist for many years, I think about 20 years. And uh, it's the first one that we have now in North America, that's the G1 stall. It's another model compared to the one that you can get in, in Europe. In Europe they call it the, sp the spill, here we call it the G1 stall. So it meets all the criteria for North American market. Now what category are you fitting into in Canada? So in Canada it's, uh, you can have it as a basic ultralight or an advanced ultralight, but as well as an experimental aircraft. Okay, so it fits into all three categories? Yes. Now this one here, you've got registered it as an advanced ultra right now? So yes, the demo one that we have here, it's uh, advanced ultra light just for the purpose of making demo flights of like this. Okay. So what type of an airplane is this? So this one is a, a stall aircraft, short takeoff and landing. It's an ultralight. Um, this one comes as a, as a kit from France, so we don't uh, build here in Canada. We just assemble it here in Canada. So it comes as a kit and we call it as an quick advanced uh, quick build, let's say, so it's an advanced quick build, because it comes uh, pretty complete. So the fuselage is almost done, uh, wings are almost done as well. Um, the only thing that you have to do, uh, literally, is just assemble the aircraft together and put an engine and instruments. And we consider that um, to build the complete aircraft ready to fly, except the paint, it will be roughly 300 hours, so it's quite fast. Okay. And what type of construction is used in the airplane? So the, the plane is completely made in aluminum. Um, we have a safety cabin, so the aluminum is the, the sheet or just round it around the safety cabin. That protects a little bit more the pilot in case you have a bad uh, or hard landing. Uh, the safety cabin is made in steel, otherwise everything is made in aluminum. Now what kind of power are we using uh, the, for the airplane? So we have a lot of planes flying around the world. Most of them are using the Rotax 912. 80 horsepower or 100 horsepower and we have a fella in the States that just purchased a G1 and he's planning to put a, a Yamaha engine converted from snowmobile. Okay, so uh, that he'd be doing that in the experimental category? Then. That's correct. Okay. Now control system wise, what kind of controls are on the airplane? So we have push rods into the wings and uh, from the wings to the cabin and the stick, that's cables uh, and the tail is also a push rod. Now, is it a center-mounted stick or dual sticks? So the, the, the basic kit comes with a dual controls, fully, uh, you can pilot, the, you can control the, the planes from both sides, left and right, so you have uh, uh, rudder pedals, control sticks, and both are in the middle of your legs. Uh, the beauty of that thing is that it comes as well with a folding uh, uh, stick mechanism. So you just fold the stick right away, there is no pins or nothing to remove. Just fold the stick on the floor and you can get in and get out of the plane very easy. Now once you're in the airplane and you're say taxing, is the uh, nose wheel steerable on it? Yes, so it's controlled by the, the rudder pedals. Okay. And it has dual brakes on it for uh, steering or single brake? The basic kit comes with a single brake but you can option choose the option to have a, a dual brake system. And is it throttle wise, it throttles on either side or Werner, what type of throttle? So you have one in the middle of the, the, the dashboard and one on the left side, so we have dual controls. Okay, and uh, as far as the uh, flap controls, uh, flaps are located where? Yeah, so the flaps control are uh, electrical um, controlled and we have a little computer on the dash that you can, with a lever that you can switch uh, up and down. And fuel capacity, how much fuel do we have on board? So we have 10 gallons on each side, so it's about 70 liters. And we have also uh, two extra tanks that we can put, so in total we will have 40 gallons. Now, with the 912 engine on it, what kind of performance do we get uh, with the airplane? So with the 912 100 horsepower, with that aircraft, we, uh, we can take off in uh, 60 feet and we land in approximately 95 feet. And what type of cruise speed would we have? So on? we cruise at uh, 103 uh, miles per hour, and we can we have a rate of climb about 1,200 uh, feet per minute. What does stall come in at with with and without flaps? 
So uh, with full flaps retracted, we have 28 miles per hour. And with the, the flaps up, so clean, we are at 32 miles per hour. Now I notice uh, this aircraft is uh, equipped with a parachute. Is a standard equipment or an option? So the parachute itself is an option, but the basic kit comes with the compartment to uh, install the parachute itself. Okay. Now a lot of pilots nowadays are looking for glass panels rather than steam gauges and that type of thing. What type of options are you offering there? So we offer different brands and different options that you want. The basic kit comes as well with, uh, when you buy it as uh, ready to fly, comes with a dash panel like the one that we have just right here. So it's basic gauges uh, and uh, one EMS. Uh, but if you want to buy another uh, cockpit glass, we will accommodate the, the dash for you. Now, what kind of propellers are we using on the airplane then? So most of the time we offer the, the Duke propeller, uh, the three blades, because it's the one that has the best performances for that type of stall aircraft. But we have also the IVO that are also available for, for those engines. And what kind of wheels and brake system are you using on it? So if you order the basic kit, you will get the G1 France uh, wheels uh, and rims, but you can upgrade as well to get the, the Béranger system, also a brand from France, uh, which one you will have uh, uh, hydraulic brakes uh, on, the, on the stick itself. So this is the first airplane then that's in North America? So we have three in total. We have this one that's our demo plane, we sold one to a gentleman in Canada, and we sold another one to the U.S. Okay, so you're selling both into Canada and the United States then? Yes. Now, in Canada, it's coming in as an advanced or a basic or an, or an amateur build. What is the categories that, categories that it fits into in the United States? So, in the States, it, as from now, it's just only as an experimental aircraft, but we are working to get the LSA market as well. So. Okay, so you're looking in the near future then to, or is it in the process now? Yeah, of getting... we, we are discussing with France to get the LSA market or the LSA uh, certifications done. So this is something that we will do uh, in 2021. How long is it going to take to actually get an airplane from placing the order with you to getting an airplane delivered here in Canada? So if you order uh, one kit today, it will take approximately three months to get the kit at your door. Now. In Canada, you can actually build this as a ready-to-fly airplane. In the United States, in the experimental category right now, it would have to be built by the individual, but they do have a builder assist program. Is that available in the U.S. for you? Yes, that's correct. So we have in both countries, Canada and the U.S., the builder assist program. We divide it in two uh, uh, systems. One is a one-week builder assist, so you come and you will uh, build the aircraft with our help, uh, but we don't put the engine. And we have the two weeks uh, builder assist, either way in, uh, in Canada or in the States, that we will build uh, the plane with you and also install the engine with you. Like, like this, you can leave the, the, the shop with the, the aircraft with an engine running. Okay, so if someone wanted to uh, get uh, more information, what's the easiest way of getting a hold of you? So you can reach us at um, my phone 519-614-2606 or direct via our website which one is www.g1-america.com. Thank you very much for your time.